Good evening, this is Cheryl Merrill, and it's April 20th, 2020. I hope you're doing well this evening. Um, it's about 10.30 here in San Francisco, and I have some um, urgent news to let people know about. You know, I just started my Instagram account today, and the Instagram account is about the clouds in the sky and what I see in them. And it's not my imagination. I've proven over five years now that it's not my imagination. Of course not. Of course I know it's not my imagination. But the average person who's going to take a look at my photos uh, will not believe it unless there's a lot of different elements to it over a period of time. Uh, one is the circumstances. The other is the timing of where I happen to be. I can prove in these photos where they were taken. I can prove that they weren't, weren't meddled with in any way. Um, unless I cropped it or I uh, felt a need to adjust the um, the brightness contrast occasionally, um, but I don't I don't touch the clouds. I don't manipulate the clouds. I have nothing to do with the clouds, and I only choose photos that are relevant, that are obvious, that I had nothing to do with manipulating, and that are highly unusual. And I just wanted to say that. You know, it's very hard for me to believe that there are alien beings up there who are otherwise known to Christians as demonic entities. And that they're they're part of the clouds up there. They're they're in the clouds now. Now, I don't know if that's always been. I don't think it has, but uh because I think the clouds are very unusual in this day and age. You can see it on my Instagram account, the first part of what I put up about the clouds called the Spirits in the Clouds series. And it began without my intention at all. I just took a picture of this unusual cloud. Um, it became the main and number one first spirit cloud that I took in 2015 of December here in the vicinity of where I'm living. It's, it's a great place to take photographs outside my window. It's right over the Bay Area. Uh, of the Golden Gate Bridge over the water. And I, I have a great view of the clouds that few people do because I'm at the top of the hill here at Knob Hill and behind is a slope down. So those people likely don't see what I see here above the bay. And so there's a very, there's very few people who have such a great view of these clouds over the bay. And it's great to photograph them, but at the same time, as I continue to find new stuff in them, I, I haven't seen all of them, you know. They've been sitting on my iPhone or on my computer and uh, waiting for me to take a look at them for a long time. And um, I saw some just a few minutes ago that just blew my mind. I mean, there, it's just so obvious that something's going on up there. Okay, and I can say that these these... Clouds are full of life forms, life forms, and that they are forming unusual. They're, they're responsible for forming unusual cloud formations. And I can see them when I zoom in with my iPhone. I can see the alien faces, the traditional alien faces throughout this, um, these pictures on a continual basis. When I shoot really unusual cloud formations, I can witness these creatures up there, up in the clouds, forming these things. Now, at the same time, I can differentiate uh, when I see um, what appear to be godly clouds, angelic clouds, battling them. Um, and... Um, flying towards the east, responding to something that happened over the Bay Area, uh, of this Chinese dragon coming over here with some woman on its back. I'm so sorry. I, I don't mean to laugh, but you know what? This is really crazy. We're, we're on a shutdown here. You know, we're not working. I didn't get any work all day. Got one appointment all week for tomorrow for $15 notarization. Okay, so I'm I, I'm not... I'm not complaining. I know everyone else is in this situation, but, you know, we're under a lot of duress, you know, and so I, I take it with a grain of salt, but I am definitely seeing things in these clouds, and uh, I'm going to share them with other people. You can decide yourself. A lot of people don't really care if there's stuff up there anyway, because if they did, they wouldn't have been so 
slow or neglectful of, of wanting to see my video I put out of the cloud that came over here and is is actually uh, a living thing. There, there's living things in these clouds that are shaping and forming these depictions. Okay, and then there's also a response from um, the uh, the godly realm of Christ as well on the other end. I, I can prove it. So if you go to my, I can prove it. I mean, I'm not. I don't have anything to do with shaping these clouds or imagining things. I'm just a witness. I'm a witness. That's all I am. And I'm not. I'm trying to imagine things to make myself famous, or I'm not trying to do anything other than just being a citizen's journalist and letting people know what this means on a spiritual level. So I'm not going to go through and explain the stories or anything right now, but I will say that there is overwhelming evidence that there are living creatures in the cloud shaping them to unusual formations. Okay? And I don't know if human beings had anything to do with helping them achieve their goals over here in our land. I've never seen clouds like this before. Um, you know, I don't know if it's the advent of the iPhone and its technology that enables me a quick, uh, a quick photo and then to examine it. And if that's the problem, I don't, I'm that, I mean, that's the problem, but I'm saying that it's just, it's so convenient. Whereas before we didn't have any ability to do that. If you really think about it, um, we didn't have any ability to see what was going on in the details of the clouds in photographs. Um, so, plus, I think they put a lot of chemicals in the clouds. You know, I don't, and maybe one of the reasons they did that was to create these things. I don't know. I, I you know, I don't know. There's just, I have no idea. All I know is that there's some crazy cloud formations out there, crazy cloud activity. And, the, the, there looks like there's gunk, gunk in the clouds. It just looks monstrous. You know, if, and, and if we could see these delineated with different colors, we would be able to see much clearer, but I can see them. I can see teeth. I can see incredible, I mean, just living things are coming, are in these clouds. Faces are in these clouds. I, I I just saw something tonight that looks so obvious. It's obviously not something I'm dreaming up. It's or it's hallucinating. Not at all. What I'm seeing are life forms in these clouds. I'm seeing the these alien uh formations that are are involved in creating clouds figures. I I can only say that I don't I'm not going crazy because of it. I'm just saying I want to get the word out. Everybody needs to start watching over what's going on here because they could be planning on descending upon us once they once they reach another stage. I mean, these could be these could be some kind of demonic entities that are going to start attacking us. Not me because I'm protected by the Holy Spirit, but that's the reason why I'm motivated to help save souls. One of the reasons why I know God wants me to do that, but to inform people that there, we could be un, under a, some kind of alien attack, but they're demonic and people don't know what they need to avoid, uh, you know, to, to protect themselves. Now, it also seems to me, I, I don't know why I think this, but I, I, I think that the Chinese may have something to do with this. You know, I don't know if the Chinese have studied this and they're aware of it and they're unleashing these these creatures into clouds? I don't know. Of course I don't know. Um, but I just get the feeling that the Chinese are involved in colluding with these things somehow. That's all I'm saying. Um, now, I don't drink. I don't do drugs. Um, I uh, take occasional CBD oil, but it only has 0 0.1 THC. 0.1. Point zero one, I should say. And, you know, I don't have it every night. I also wanted to say that I believe I am experiencing some kind of neuro neuro neurological problems. Um, I, 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 I think that my brain is starting to exhibit some issues. 
that I, like I went to bed last night and I could feel like a second hand going, see a second hand. There was mine going up in the air, you know, and, and I am also um, aware of my skin changing very quickly. There's blotchiness in my skin. And I'm wondering if my it's just my brain that's going downhill or what what's happening. You know, um, my brain, my, my face is very dry and it's starting to show signs of age, of that blotchiness that old people get. You know, the, the, the spots are starting to form and it's just changed so quickly. You know, it changed like within the past six months. I used to have a really nice skin tone. I mean, my skin was like, people would compliment me for my skin and then it's been going downhill for no reason at all that I can think of and I think it has something to do with my brain I think that maybe God is planning on bringing me out of this world through some neuro neurological problem you know where you die in your sleep from some brain aneurysm or something you know I just feel like it's happening really quickly so yeah I just had a had a reminder right then and there of my headache is 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 starting right now my headache just kind of pulsed right there um yeah my, i think my brain is may hemorrhage or something to be honest that's why I'm, I'm in a rush to get these clouds up you know i want to leave something for people to see uh what i saw in the clouds and they they need to know that we're in that we're in danger people are in danger i'm not in danger because i have the holy spirit i'm not i'm not afraid but these things could could evolve over time and just completely come down here. They may be the AIs too. I'm I'm thinking that I'm seeing some stuff up there that look like AIs, you know. Um, and I'm thinking that maybe some of these are AI creations from China that are beginning to come to life up in the uh, the clouds. Maybe they're under some kind of control. Uh, by another country that's going to attack us with these things. I you know that's what I'm saying. I I think when I saw the dragon series, which is not up on Instagram, I don't know if they'll let me put it up there. Um, we'll see. Um, but the dragon series that I have up on my two blogs, the fact of how it was programmed to open its eyes right before it's starting to you know fade away. Because that was the last picture I took because right after that it went away within like three minutes. Um, and it's, it's, it's almost like it was rolled out to us to see some kind of mechanical AI thing coming to life up in the sky. Because like I say, what I saw was the skin change from clouds to some stone substance of marble or something. It was a different surface it, it was not normal and so i'm saying that i think that people are maybe in danger because i think that this could be a a collusion of china with these ai forms of life they're not real life but they're they're a form of some kind of life um you know programmed i'm thinking maybe that the chinese may have something to do with this um, I know I'm sounding like the paranoid Russia communist thing, but you know, I, I have some evidence based now on Bill Gates. I think that there's a spirit of communism that's satanic and that people become infected by it and they don't even know. And so, you know, why the, uh, the government doesn't, uh, you know, uh, indict Bill Gates for his, um, what do you call it? Um, betrayal, uh, colluding with the foreign enemy of the America. I mean, Americans are are the ones who are always under the magnifying glass, uh, being considered terrorists or whatever, or enemies of the state. While people like Bill Gates can go out there and collude with our enemy. China is our enemy, and uh, they're an atheist, godless brutal regime and they they are nothing to mess with and you don't go over there and flirt with china and that's what bill gates has done they're going to gobble him up and all of his money and and he has no idea what he's gotten himself into colluding with the devil he's taken the uh he's taken the um the bait and the devil sent him a thank you letter and the, i'm not talking about the president being a devil. I'm talking about the spirit of communism creates 
something within human beings that flip of a switch it's going to turn into real horrific things so my concern is like i say that these things up there are dangerous they're not just playing up there they're planning and rolling out and rehearsing things some kind of a battle up there yeah yeah i'm seeing forms of there was that one there was that one uh, i use it a lot the picture of the woman up in the sky with her legs, knees kind of bent, pointing towards the uh, east. And um, she looks kind of eloquent from the 18th century. And I, I did a zoom in on one of the earlier forms of her, and I could see an alien involved with it. You know, I could see an alien involved in it. And uh, I, I do think that... Um, well, I don't know if the alien was just watching it and battling with the form forming or if it was actually responsible for forming that cloud. Uh, I, I don't know. But, of course, what can I know about that? Um, unless I witnessed what I witnessed in the other one where the alien uh, came out of the cloud it, with its alien head and horns and with another, and they formed the face of the woman was the one alien, and then the, the horns of the alien was the other, uh, the hand. So I witnessed how that metaf- had metamorphosized to uh, the formation of the cloud. So I saw the aliens peek their little heads out and then form the cloud that looked like the woman riding the beast in Revelation. Okay, they're rolling out something. You know, I don't know if China's involved, but I just, I find this hard. Of course, I find this hard to believe. But this is being done by some manipulation. I mean, when you see something trying to mimic the book of Revelation and they're they're rehearsing it, it's almost like they're rolling it out, rehearsing it. Um, I, I just can't. It's like the Twilight Zone. I don't think God wants me to be um, thinking about it too much, but my goal right now is just to get these photos up and copyrighted, and um, if Instagram gives me a hard time, then I'm going to have to put it on my own, get my own photo- photography blog and put it up there. And then, you know, if I'm going to die any any time, because I don't know, I don't know how much time I have left. Um, sometimes I feel healthy, but at this age, you don't know what could happen. There are people who seem healthy, you know, and then they, they could easily just, what happens is to a lot of people is they, you never would expect it, but they just die and then they're gone. You know, you just just don't expect it. They seem okay. But, um, I'm feeling something going on with my brain and, uh, it's neurological and I could die at any time. I could die of a brain hemorrhage. I could die of an aneurysm. And I'm just trying to get up these photos as fast as I can. And that's my goal. So um, I do have the time now to do that because my business is very slow. I only have one appointment tomorrow for one signature. And, you know, um, my goal, though, is now to get these photos up. And all I can say is that guys are the ones who should be into this stuff, not me. But I do have some knowledge of Christ, so... Um, At least I can represent that Jesus is uh, intervening. I've witnessed him intervene. And those are the pictures that you can see up on Instagram at um, Morphing Clouds, Morphing Clouds Photography. That's the name of the Instagram site profile. And, you know... um, you can see over time how the first thing that I saw was the alien dancing in the sky above me. And, and then, um, after I saw that alien dancing, uh, I saw the three alien looking, there were, there were kind of an alien and then they were looking like an alien and three other women, uh, looking down at me like huge giants up, up in the sky in front of St. Mary's square. Okay, so um, it's funny because whenever I see these formations and clouds, I'm a, I'm around um, Grace Cathedral. Uh, was one of the first ones that I saw of these swans, a swan in the sky with some kind of unusual being watching over it. 
Um, I put that up as well on Instagram. Um, those were the very earliest ones that I saw, but I've they've been accelerating. I mean, I, I don't I haven't even seen to, the roll for 2018 yet, but I do know that there were a ton for 2019. That was a very pivotal year. And so, you know, my concern is that these AIs may have gotten so intelligent by now that they're arranging things up in the sky and the clouds, and they've been maybe released by China or Israel or whatever. Because I, I, I find it really hard to believe that, that these things just all of a sudden appear in the clouds. We, you know, we would have noticed them by now. Um, there's a ton of them up there and um, it's not my imagination and I can prove it with the, the photographs that over time what they do is tell the story basically so um, I don't want to ramble on too much but you know please forgive me for um, uh, rambling on a little bit I, I do I do have some kind of neurological problem pronouncing things and I could go at any time you know I, I just I would be very grateful to go, to be honest. I don't want to be here when all this stuff go starts going down. Um, and uh, they're not going to let our country back. They're not going to let it back. So they're going to release these, these things in the clouds on us. I think that they have some kind of operation going up there that we can, can't even understand. People watch too much Star Trek. <laughs> we were raised on this stuff. We didn't think it would ever come to fruition that crazy stuff like this could ever happen. Listen, guys, you've got to start taking pictures of these strange photos and not just leave it up to me. There's stuff up there that's very dangerous that could be released on us at any time. They're like rehearsing up there. I'm catching them rehearsing, you know? They're just forming things. They're, they're starting their battles. They're, they're preparing for their battles. They're rehearsing. That, that woman pointing towards the east wasn't a god. It was some alien. Because you could tell, you know, um, some alien that's planning on putting on a show for us up there of battling something. Uh, of course, God, probably. Um, anyway, I, I'm really tired and I've got to go to sleep now. And, uh, I just wanted to say how weird this is. You guys have got to start taking pictures of the clouds with your iPhones. You've got to start doing it. It's our duty. We've got to start battling these things and praying to God about them. He wants us to know about it. We need to pray about it. It's Ephesians six twelve, I believe it says, um, that we're not dealing with human beings but principalities of the air, of the flesh. Not of flesh, but of principalities of the air. So that's what's up there right now. I see them. And they're not my imagination. And they're up there doing crazy stuff. They can form anything they want up there. It's a spirit. So, you guys, they're, they're, they're boarding up San Francisco. They're boarding up everything. And I don't see it that they're going to let us back. I really don't think this... California wants to open up the state again. Nancy Pelosi was in Chinatown, I heard, without a mask and doing her her stuff, campaigning, and no one was wearing a mask. What is that about? She was, wasn't within six feet. I mean, she was close to somebody. You know, she wasn't trying to hide anything. What's that all about? Listen, there's crazy stuff up in the clouds. And our, our government is being crazy as well. And I just wonder how much influence do these demonic entities have over human beings that I witnessed with that costume, that unicorn costume that day. Of somebody walking in front of my apartment right after I took the pictures of that dragon. I, I feel like my, my brain is hemorrhaging. I've got to go.